this is pretty disgusting. Um, this guy's kitchen. See, there's his cooking stuff. There are his walks on the wall. Is his toilet. Toilet and kitchen in one. See, there are even like vegetables and stuff here ready and eggs ready to be prepared. It's gross, dude. It's fucking gross. So, you must be wondering about that clip. Uh, what's going on there? Well, this was a guy's kitchen, part of a small restaurant that I went to actually. And this is where the guy obviously goes to the bathroom, washes his dishes, washes the vegetables and stuff that he cooks and everything all in one. This is not the first time I've seen this by the way. And this wasn't even in some backwater area. This was a provincial level city in Guangdong in the south of China called Heyuan. I used to go there a lot with my friends because it has some of the best motorcycle riding roads around this massive big reservoir. And the city's actually pretty good at night. It lights up, it's very pretty, it's got all these colorful lights and things. And it's fairly advanced for a provincial level city. To be honest, I've actually seen better looking toilets in more rural areas, for instance, like here in Jiangxi, where we went to this fantastic little rural restaurant run by some amazing people who obviously saw the value in hygiene and cleanliness because not only was their bathroom spick and span, but everything about their entire operation was very impressive because Usually you don't find this kind of thing out in the sticks in China. But here's the thing guys. First of all, pit toilets are pit toilets. They're all over Asia. China, it's the majority of toilets that you find, especially public toilets are pit toilets. It doesn't matter what city you're in. I mean, here's a clip from Beijing that I took in 2019. <laughs> well, if you're here taking a dump, no one is ever going to have privacy, that's for sure. At least they have a Western style toilet at the end here. Must be for all the foreigners who come here. But that, that is a men's bathroom. This is a Beijing hutong, and these bathrooms have been remodeled because the hutongs are these kind of old style alleyway living areas. People don't have bathrooms inside of their little houses, so they share bathrooms, and also the public uses these bathrooms. Now this is not a video to say whether pit toilets are better than western toilets or western toilets are, you know, the sit down type are better than pit toilets because you can go into the fanciest of apartment buildings or restaurants in China and you will find pit toilets because it's a preferred type of toilet for most Chinese people. That's how they grew up. It is in some ways more hygienic because you don't need to sit on a seat. You kind of just hover above the toilet, that kind of thing. And so it's not about what kind of toilet it's, is better. But it's more about the state, really, of a lot of these public bathrooms. And I think you can tell a lot about a society by the toilets. I know that sounds weird, but this really gives you a no-nonsense look at Chinese society because public toilets are the great equalizer. We're not dealing with super rich people with their fancy apartments and fancy hotels. We're not dealing with dirt poor people with poor houses and their poor hotels or lack of being able to stay in hotels. We're dealing with public toilets. Now these are the toilets you find across the entire country. This is not a provincial thing. You find these really, I don't know, for lack of a better word, just wild public bathrooms in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west. And sometimes I think that's maybe one of the reasons why the grandmothers and the parents prefer to take their kids just to go and take a piss in the street or whatever, because nobody wants to go in those bathrooms unless they really have to. Now, of course, you do get nice public bathrooms in shopping malls and things like that. But for instance, the one you're looking at right now was actually part of a fairly normal gas station. Uh, surrounded by beautiful scenery and things like that. And perhaps an even better example of this is this really nice, normal, clean looking gas station that we stopped at, where you can see everything looks normal. We had a lot of fun talking to the people there. Everyone was great and friendly and it all looked very nice from the outside. It's even got a nice shiny plaque. But uh, when you enter the bathroom, this is what you see. Let's take a look at this truck stop. Oh, 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 oh God, this is gross. This is, <laughs> wow, oh wow, this is bad, the smell, the, the smell is just, oh my word, oh that's just disgusting, I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoa, oh wow. Oh wow. Now something that's always struck me as being very odd is China's embrace of new technology. 
But at the same time, using very, well, medieval practices when it comes to personal hygiene, to be fair. I don't know if there's a better word for that backwards. But, you know, you'll very often see a grandmother or a parent allowing their child to urinate or defecate in public into a drain or a rubbish bin or something like that. See what this lady's doing next to me? She's trying to make the, the kid take a leak right next to me. This is my foot, that's her foot. That's what the whistling thing is. For those of you who are wondering whether this is a common phenomenon or not, well, most infant clothing, the pants actually don't close at the back. It's got a split down the middle, split pants. It's bizarre because you'll walk around in China and see a lot of babies' asses hanging out the back of their pants, and it's simply because it allows easy access. You know, it's still fairly uncommon for children to wear diapers in China. This is for practicality reasons, but there's also a lot of traditional belief. Uh, a lot of the grandparents think that diapers are actually bad for the health of the baby. And I suppose you don't get nappy rash if you're never wearing, or diaper rash if you're never wearing a diaper, right? But you know, here's the weird thing. China really is a very advanced country right now anyway. Everybody is embracing all the latest in technology, you know, all the cashless payments and all the fancy cities and the way the government can monitor every step you take, all the cameras everywhere, all the apps on your phone that tell you that you've had a COVID screening, all that kind of thing. Um, but it's just such a weird contrast because you've got this outer image, which is very shiny and very high tech and very, you know, forward looking. But yet underneath that, you still have a very backward sanitation system. The toilets cannot accept tissue paper or anything, so you're not actually allowed to flush anything down the toilets. That's why you always find a rubbish bin next to the toilets filled with, well, for lack of a better word, soiled tissues. All public bathrooms do not have toilet paper. There's a reason for this because it just gets stolen by the lost generation. So that's another thing which is very odd and uh, frustrating when you're traveling around China, living in China, is a public bathroom will 99% of the time not have any kind of toilet paper. So you have to bring your own tissues along with you everywhere you go. I've even stayed in hotels where there's no toilet paper, like this fantastic example where, well, for whatever reason, they have a very, um, <laughs> I don't know what you'd call that, tasteful, tasteless picture. I'll, I'll go with tasteless picture of a... A young woman on the wall. But yeah, there was no toilet paper in here. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes when you're traveling around China. But what's the point? What's the point of this whole video? Why am I showing you these toilets in China, these wild toilets? Well, that's because it's a real thing. You know, I don't need to do this. I do this every time. I tell everyone how much I love the people of China and how much I love China. I mean, it's it's self-evident. If you have watched any of my videos, you'll know that China has been a massive part of my life, still is a massive part of my life, and I do love China very much. But I am going to criticize China where it needs to be criticized. And in one aspect, it's definitely when it comes to the, the hygiene of the toilets and toilets in general. I mean, like I said, you can tell a lot about a society by the toilets. And when I visited Japan, for instance, I didn't once come across a toilet that was in bad shape. All the toilets that I came across had like impeccable, like high tech bidets built in. It was fantastic. You know, you had this thing where when you flush, you can wash your hands from, you know, the cistern up there, all this kind of stuff. And traveling through America in the worst desert parts of Arizona, where I could pull into like a little desert place and they have a public bathroom, there was toilet paper in that bathroom. Heck, even in South Africa, if you go to the rural parts where you go into some kind of a, any kind of a public toilet, there's usually toilet paper there. China really needs to catch up when it comes to its toilets and the habits surrounding it. And I understand the challenges that are involved here, especially with the lost generation and the idea that if it's a public facility, no one cares about it, no one takes any kind of notice, whether it's in a, in a terrible shape. Uh, that's also why you have such a big littering problem and a maintenance issue. But I do want to call China out on this. China, your public bathrooms are disgusting. And I'm saying that in the nicest way possible. I've seen a couple that are okay, but still worse than pretty much everywhere else in the world that I've been to. So guys, that's it for this video. 
I hope I didn't gross you out too much. I do, of course, have more of these toilet videos that I've taken. It's not like it was a hobby of mine or anything, but uh, it's just one of those things that as I was traveling around, if I came across anything particularly shocking, I'd usually uh, film it. Um, but I'm going to just leave you with some nice footage of sort of nice, clean shopping malls in China, just to balance this out so that you can see that uh, China is not all like these public toilets. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good one. Can't wait to see you in the next video. And until then, unlike the public toilets in China, stay awesome.